Next up is Jacksonville. They've got Tony Jasek as their head coach once again, and he's joined by David Bell, who's a rare six-year senior. Coach, I know on the roster you guys have had a fair amount of turnover going into the season. As you've gotten to learn the new players, what do you like most about the group? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, our group is, is starting to come together. I think our, um, our togetherness, uh, our competitive spirit are in a good place. Um, you know, thus far, it, it's going to be a, a real interesting kind of challenge to bring as many new guys uh, in with the returners that we have and kind of put this thing together early. Uh, I'm excited about our talent level. I'm excited about the character of our team and, and really look forward to uh, working with this group over the next few weeks as we, uh, as we get headed into, into the start of the season. David, with so many new guys, what type of leadership role have you taken this year, trying to kind of bring everybody together and get them on the same page? Um, I'm just trying to show them the ways um, here at Jacksonville University, you know, um, try to show them to strive and be everyday guys and just compete every day. What did it mean to get the, the additional year, and how physically do you feel now after obviously battling through a lot over the last couple of years? Um, I feel good. Um, you know, adjusting to playing more minutes and doing things, I feel great physically. Um, I got stronger over time, and I'm just ready to get out there and show what I can, you know, do. Coach Tyrus Davis had a good freshman year. Uh, you lose your top two scores from a year ago. Do you see him being one of those guys that can kind of move into that role as being one of your top scores? Uh, probably not, uh, especially not early. As you know, he uh, he suffered a injury late uh, last year, and, and we're not sure. Uh, if and when he'll be back this okay. year, but but we're certainly excited about uh, the next few years with with Tyrese. I think he's got a really bright uh, future once he uh, once he gets his uh, once he gets his knee back healed and, and ready to go. I would assume that you're going to have, as you mentioned, a lot of guys playing new roles this year. And from what I've heard, you have a lot more guys who can shoot the basketball from distance with the three point line moving back. How do you think that will help your ball club going into this year? Well, we've always had guys that can shoot it. Uh, I just hope that. We've got more guys on this team that can make it, and uh, you know that that's a that's a big key. Um, but I do think that we've got we've got a handful of guys. Um, I think our skill level has has improved, um, and it'll be it'll be fascinating to watch uh, over the course of the season how the three point line impacts the game. Uh, I'm not sure it'll impact uh, the guys that are shooters uh, per se. I think some of your tweeners, uh, your guys that that you know the, the old three point line is maybe a little bit of a stretch for them. Uh, I think it, you could see that change. Uh, change their game and change some defensive uh, scouting assignments based on uh, based on the length of the new three point line. But um, you know, early, like I said, I think you know guys that are guys that are accustomed to shooting the ball. Uh, I don't think it's gonna have a ton of impact, and hopefully, uh, we've got more guys that can make it than maybe we have in the past. Because of all the new faces, coach, do you see this non conference portion of the schedule being maybe more important than other years, just as you try to figure each other out? You know, not really. Um, you know we're going to try to we're going to try to compete every time uh, that we step on the floor, uh, whether that's game one, you know game ten or game you know twenty five, and so uh, we're just trying to put this thing together as quickly as we can and, and get uh, get our team moving forward uh, as we head into the uh, start of the year here in a couple weeks. David, who's a name or two that's really impressed you in the first few weeks of practice? Um, I would I would say Destin Barnes and. And Trey Sides. Uh, Trey Sides is a, a very good freshman. He's um, been very good at cutting and finding spots. And Destin's even knocking shots down at a good clip. So I would say those two guys come up in, off my mind. Coach, as you look at the landscape of the conference, we've heard some other coaches mention the parity this year. Do you see it being kind of that way? A lot of teams kind of fighting. Yeah, we know Liberty's the, the favorite, but kind of after them, a lot of teams kind of fighting for some of those top spots. Yeah, I was. I would assume so. You know, I think um, you look across really uh, not just our league, but but every league, and, and I think there are a lot of good teams. Uh, I think that the the parity uh, runs rampant in, in men's college basketball. I, I don't think our league is, is any different. And uh, like I said, we're we're certainly excited to be a part of it, and hopefully um, we can continue to be in a bunch of close games like we were last year and finish finish the job a little bit more frequently than we did. Jacksonville will begin its quest for a successful season when they take on Xavier on November 5th.